Well, China has also reacted strongly to Mr. Trump's latest pronouncements. State media in Beijing said China would take off the gloves and take strong action if Mr. Trump continued to provoke Beijing over Taiwan. Mr. Trump broke with decades of precedent last month by taking a telephone call from the Taiwanese president, a move that angered Beijing, which regards Taiwan as part of China. Our correspondent John Sudworth reports now from Beijing. Not everyone in China is taking Donald Trump too seriously. His inauguration this week comes just ahead of the Chinese New Year of the Rooster. And this factory is making, well, giant Trump look-alike chicken balloons. The orders are flowing in. We can barely cope, the boss tells me. But increasingly, Mr. Trump is becoming a target of anger, <laughs> rather than a figure of fun. Mock-ups of Taiwanese ships provide shooting practice at this Chinese military museum, just across the Taiwan Strait. While US presidents have long avoided challenging Beijing's claim to sovereignty, the so-called One China policy, Mr. Trump says he might. <laughs> China's military, especially our Navy, is growing stronger. We don't fear US provocation, this man tells me. We want peace, but if they cross our red line, we have to take measures, this woman agrees. Last week, in a move seen by some as intended to make that very point, China sent its aircraft carrier through the Taiwan Strait and China's Communist Party-run newspapers have issued a stark warning, telling Mr. Trump that if he changes US policy, Beijing will have no choice but to take off the gloves, and that China will mercilessly combat those who advocate Taiwan's independence. These Chinese workers make luxury marble products for the US market. For them, the biggest fear is not rising military tension, but a trade war. Their American boss believes Mr. Trump's threatened tariffs will do nothing to change the basic market reality. Hiring one worker in the States, I could hire five to six in China. So moving our business to the States would hinge into our margins, which then would reflect on consumer pricing. and. It would be very difficult to run a business that way. The world's about to find out whether one of the most vital and complex bilateral relationships is to undergo a profound change. Before his election, China could simply dismiss Donald Trump's rhetoric as the overinflated bluster of the campaign trail. Not anymore. And China's making it increasingly clear that while it has a lot to lose, so too does America and the wider world. John Sudworth, BBC News, Beijing. So with all of that going on, let's go live to Washington and talk to John Sopel, our North America editor. John, this